Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I would like to welcome our distinguished guest, legendary rock and roll man Ted Nugent. Silence, let's all reminisce. There I was. My nudge was guiding my ass. And I was making some rock and roll like a good boy. My nudge made it sure that I was the best that I could be. Thank you all for being here today. Um, I, I, I see a lot of young boys and girls. Boys and girls, look closely. Yeah! My, my name is Ted Nugent. I am 59 years old. time of my life because my mom and dad made me be the best that I could be. Yeah! And if you, if you look at the, the vitality here, it's because no drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco, and no stupid stuff. So if there's a tribute that I can give to my mom, she was a, a powerful, powerful, positive, glowing, vibrant spirit. And she loved me through discipline and enthusiasm. She was a ball of fire. And I know I see a lot of happy rock and rollers out there. And I know that the best thing about my career is that I am really funny. <laughs> and that I'm obviously having way too much fun. And I attribute that to my great mother, Marion Dorothy Nugent who uh, touched a lot of people. I know that there's a lot of musicians and a lot of rock and roll fans that would communicate with my mother both through the mail and uh, through the Illinois Entertainer. But on behalf of Eric Kinkle who organized this and Dirty Nellie's here and the mayor of Palatine and everybody that's been involved, this public tribute is great and I'm glad you're here as you leave here today to spread that word that love is discipline and guidance is encouragement and enthusiasm. But this public tribute is merely a physical manifestation of what I celebrate every day of my life. My mom is with me every day, which is why I'm so funny. Woo! Yeah! And kids, the most important thing is hug your moms every day and tell them you love them and do your damn chores. Yeah! So, so I know I got a lot of rock and roll friends out there, and I got a lot of my hunting buddies out there, a lot of my fishing buddies out there. So, uh, Palatine is a great community. I only spent a couple of years here, and I graduated from St. Vitus High School down the road. But my American dream is absolutely on fire because in the Nugent household, if you met my older brother, Jeff. We deliver pizza to him. Well, I could give him that. <laughs> <laughs> and my my younger brother Johnny, who is the foreman of the Pepper Construction Company locally here, and my sister Kathy, who runs a great business in northern Michigan. If you look at my brothers and sister, and their children, and my grandchildren, you'll see people who, who care. People who try to be the best that they can be every day. People that know sometimes you give the world the best you got, and you get kicked in the teeth. Well, my mom taught me to give the world the best you got anyway. And that's what I do, no matter whether it's with a bow and arrow or a guitar, right. or on a microphone or during an interview or something I write or something I say. Um, the American dream is the only dream in the world where you can actually be compensated based on your effort and your dreams of excellence. Amen. Yeah. So remember that as you, and God bless you all. If you're here, you probably have jobs and you're productive Americans, and I love you madly. But we've all, we've all got a Ma Nuge in our life. We've all got loved ones and family and even uh, mentors and neighbors and people that guide us and help us when we need that guidance and help. And uh, if you can take anything out of this dirty Nellie's parking lot with you today, know that the Nugent family continues to celebrate that positive guidance of my mother and my father every day of our lives. And we can keep that alive in your own family. And I think right now, it's 2007, being the best that you can be means more now than ever. When I was growing up, we had finished a war, and we failed at a war. And right now, 
we're waging war against mindless, heartless, soulless, evil terrorists. So now more than ever, how strong you are in your family, how strong you are in your community, will be indicative how strong America can be. So we probably have veterans of the United States military here today. We probably have families who have young men and women serving on the front lines of the war on terror. Waging war against evil is the answer. And our men and women were brought up in households like mine. The men and women fighting the war on terror right now researched the war on terror. They were brought up in disciplined families. And then, based on that research, they volunteered to probably sacrifice their lives so we can have an American dream. And I know my mom would want me to say that here today. So be sure you thank a veteran. Be sure you support the troops on the front lines when they come home, throw them a party, get them drunk, and get them a barbecue. And bring them to one of my concerts and I'll rip their heads off. But thank, you, thank you, Eric Kinkle. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mayor. And thank all of you for supporting Manu. In the wind, she is still alive.